Cheers, and welcome to Americans Learn. My name is Lauren, and today, thanks to a commenter, South Coast Tricky Dicky, I am going to be reacting to Sean Locke's best bits on 8 out of 10 Does Countdown Part 1. I have tried to do that particular intro about nine times now, and even with the mistakes, this is the one that it's going to be. So... Strap in, guys. <laughs> uh, again, I am really excited to watch this. I like Sean Locke. I enjoy Edit of Ten Cats Does Countdown, and I have not seen his compilation yet, somehow. So let us begin. I'm excited to see. If you want to see more content like this, make sure you let us know in the comments below, or you can join our Discord. The link is in the description box. And now we are warning you this clip contains strong language and adult humor, but if you know anything about Sean Locke, like, you're not surprised. Let's go. I won't lie to you. I don't like doing countdown. <laughs> Why lie? What's my lie? I feel like I feel like a polar bear trapped in a tiny cage. Up and down, up and down. Why do I have to play countdown? Why do I have to play countdown? No, but seriously, I hate playing countdown. <laughs> I've been putting Scrabble letters down my pants and just pulling nine out and just going come up with the word, then chucking them back and seeing how many words I can come up with. And it's, I'll give you a bit of advice, it's best to do that, it's best to do that at home. It was like Wordle. I always do when I win Countdown, which is I have a bath in alphabetic spaghetti. <laughs> and I thought I'd drive myself off, but when I bent over and caught a glimpse, I had a nine-letter word in, in, the, in the crack of my ass. <laughs> and it was underpass. <laughs> It's very rare in a tin of alphabetic spaghetti to get two S's. Is it? What really freaked me out. <laughs> it's not really much of a it's not much of a bath in alphabetic spaghetti if you only use one tin, is it? <laughs> you gotcha. Did you get it? Yeah, I did it by um, just willpower. <laughs> I don't use maths. I use the force of the mind. That's what I would have to do. Seventy-five, which is seven hundred and fifty. Yeah, he's right. still in the game. And then by using sheer willpower, <laughs> I used the 10 again. <laughs> <laughs> Catching. I'm quite good at catch. <laughs> you can't get that. I could have gone one or two ways. <laughs> Did he catch it? problem, actually, with uh, playing this game. Couldn't see what he so threw. Pen. <laughs> so I think it's going to make it difficult for me. Sean, very good news. I've got a pen and you're good at catching. <laughs> So Sean and Rod have 17 points. John and Kevin have 39. Oh no, they put Sean with Ro Rod Gilbert? Ah. Okay, fingers on buzzers. You're playing. Oh my God. They're not clapping. <laughs> not the green top. She's not clapping. That's better. <laughs> Just have done well. We've been trying hard. <laughs> I've seen better countdowns. Oh my God. All right, you know what? Actually, after seeing that, yeah, that is fair. Because apparently Sean Locke is just as much as a chaos goblin as Rod Gilbert. Okay, don't wear a green jumper and not clap. That's what I'm <laughs> if you're not going to clap, wear a brown jumper like the fella in front. <laughs> yes, green, famously not a good colour for camouflage. Yeah. <laughs> not if you're not in the woods. TV studio, Jimmy, yeah. Mr. I could very so quickly say something which people might laugh at. <laughs> Sean, you feeling confident this evening? Well, there's no point in that, is there? I, I've realised that the only thing this show tests is my patience. <laughs> I've got a, an amazing trick I'm going to perform, a feat of prediction. I've written a word down in this envelope, and at some point in the show, someone's going to come up with that word. It's going to come up on that board. I'm going to give this to a Rachel. And if Rachel will be so kind, she can open the envelope, and the word that will be up on... The board there will be in this envelope. Incredible okay. mind trick. Well, it's that way, yeah. It's predictive power. It's predictive. And it won't be, it won't necessarily. <laughs> Careful, Sean. Yeah. 
We don't, we don't need to retake that, do we? That was... <laughs> I don't think anyone noticed anything. <laughs> I didn't. I saw nothing. You styled it out there, Sean. Nice one. <laughs> you can see why magicians have a sort of patter and a <laughs> way of doing these. You'd be so... God, just... Oh, shit. <laughs> The thing is, I can't tell if he did the second one on purpose or not. Say, I'll give you the nod. Right, you open in. that and it'll be a... Mate, I'd better look where I'm going. <laughs> Maybe. Now, to open that card, Rachel. <laughs> you need to find the word in there is bean rules. It's got Santa on it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> what does it say, Rachel? Was it... To Brian and Margaret. Merry Christmas. <laughs> You pair of tosses. I'm <laughs> Sean from next door. <laughs> oh. That's good. That's a good joke. <laughs> you, you, oh my god. You pretend that. <laughs> Whoops. And the look on his face, too. Man's a good actor. I don't know what happened now. That Brian and Margaret have got a card with beam rules in it. <laughs> take calls during the course of the evening to deal with uh, various problems people have. I'm like, ask Jeeves. <laughs> but it's ask Sean. Sean. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sean, get it! <laughs> Hello? Yes, yes, it is me. No, that's... You've only got the bronze service. It doesn't look like he was expecting that thing to ring. But again, I've already said he's a good actor. Maybe he was. Maybe he was. No, I can't help you with that. No, you have to upgrade. Go to the website. Click on gold five. And um, then I'll say those things. Okay. <laughs> What yeah. advice would you give your teammate, Jack? Is he first time on the show? It doesn't take as long as you think it's going to take. You know, <laughs> <the show. laughs> oh. Back again. Hello? Uh, yes, yes. Oh, God. Really? Oh, thank Christ for that. Oh, great, great news. Thank you. I feel like Dara O'Brien would be a good person to be your partner on this show. I have no idea how Sean is actually, how his performance is. I feel like Dara O'Brien would be a good person, especially for the math parts of the show. Uh, it's Operation U Tree. <laughs> <laughs> so at the end of. Th <laughs> what, what are you drinking there? Water. Lovely <laughs> can of new water. I've never seen the new water brand. It's just water. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's from a canal. So it's, <laughs> it's from the Thames. You're just rehydrating, are you? I wouldn't normally with water, but it's so watery, I'd say cheers. <laughs> All right. Whenever so anyone on screen drinks, you drink. For fun, sort of personal battle between no, us. No, fine, fine, fine. You could play for claw. <laughs> why, why would I do that? So I've already got him. <laughs> Just check. Uh, I would have gone. <laughs> Are you playing along with Miles for fun? But not for Claude, no. Oh, oh right. Oh, fuck it, money. A grand? I'll tell you what. <laughs> I won't spit on you when we're having sex tonight. <laughs> Good luck trying it without a spit. <laughs> I'm wiping the tear out of my eye. <laughs> oh, Sean's just very kindly offered not to spit off my face. <laughs> 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 and then Jimmy just dies. That's a, that's a nice thing. <laughs> that's a nice thing. <laughs> oh my god, he's literally crying. <laughs> and he's and he's not doing his seal laugh, which means you know he found it just actually very funny. I can't even breathe. <laughs> oh my 
my God. He's still sobbing. I've got to get Donald coming. I've just gone again. Sorry, hang on. What I've got to do is try and forget what he said. <laughs> what I'm going to do is try and forget what he said. <laughs> Oily pants. What? That's a thrilling end, well. isn't it? <laughs> All right. Well, I was like, I was ready for that to keep going. <laughs> Not going to lie. That was fun. Uh, and honestly, it's like it is joke didn't strike me as that funny. But watching Jimmy Carr like lose his mind over <laughs> over that joke was very funny. And it's really weird to watch Jimmy laugh without doing that like dull, like seal barking thing that he does. But that's what's like, that's how you know though, that he just actually was at a loss. Cause you know, you can have more than one real laugh, like for sure. Um, <laughs> but like, oh, that was good. All right, Sean Locke. I'm kind of bummed I haven't seen more of him. I've seen him on, like, you know, some of his, like, more raunchier jokes. And I've seen uh, him interacting on, I don't even know. I've seen him, like, on a couple of different panel shows. But I don't think I've ever seen anything that just condenses him like that. That's that's fun. I still don't have any more real understanding about how either Countdown or 8 out of 10 cats works. Um, but I guess that's not entirely the point of a video like this. Um, so thank you uh, for suggesting that I watch this. I thoroughly enjoyed myself. I am probably going to continue on and watch part two. There are four parts of this, <laughs> of Sean Locke on this show. So, I mean, like, that that speaks volumes in and of itself. So again, uh, South Coast Tricky Dicky, thank you for suggesting that I watch this. If anybody else has a suggestion for me to wa uh, watch, uh, be it 8 out of 10 cats, be it something not comedic related, if you've got anything that you would want me to watch, let me know. The whole point of this this channel is to expand horizons and to make sure that I'm seeing stuff that I haven't seen before, haven't had the chance to see before, didn't know existed. So let me know in the comments below what you would like to like like me to see. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, you can also you know pop into Discord, which is again in the link below and. We're looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next one. And until then, cheers.